Good evening. This is Left, Right and Center. I'm Nidhi Razdan. Tonight, high drama in the Karnataka Assembly as the debate on the trust vote begins. But while the BJP wanted a vote right away, the Congress JDS has tried to stall it. It just doesn't have the numbers. Now, the House has been adjourned until tomorrow. But BJP MLAs are sitting all night in protest in the House tonight. Meanwhile, murmurs have begun that the governor is preparing a report to send to the center, which is not ruling out president's rule. Now, with the Supreme Court clear that a floor test must happen, would such a move be blatantly illegal? We'll talk about all the various legal wranglings that are happening in Karnataka and what a day it's been in the Karnataka Assembly. The Congress JDS government is hanging on by a thread after 18 MLAs backed out of the coalition over the last couple of weeks and that appears to have left Chief Minister Kumaraswamy in a minority. But today Mr. Kumaraswamy went ahead and moved the motion for a trust vote beginning the debate except that he's not keen to have the vote right away simply because he doesn't have the numbers. The BJP is, they smell blood. The Speaker, however, called it a day earlier this evening despite the BJP's strong demands for a vote. They had even met the Governor this afternoon and the Governor in turn then asked the Speaker to consider holding the vote today itself. The BJP MLAs, led by Mr. Yadurapa, are now spending the night in the Assembly as a mark of protest. During the trust vote debate earlier, the Congress and JDS MLAs raised several issues including the status of the rebels and whether they can be disqualified for defying a whip to attend the assembly. Remember, just yesterday, the Supreme Court left it to the Speaker to decide on the resignations of these rebels, but at the same time said that they cannot be forced to attend the assembly, which basically then blunts the threat of disqualification uh, against them and actually makes it much harder for Mr. Kumaraswamy on the floor of the house. My colleague Maya Sharma spoke to Mr. Yadurapa uh, in the assembly just a little while earlier. Let's listen to what he said. Uh, former Chief Minister B.S. Yadurapa here of the BJP. So all of your BJP MLA is staying here all night. You're clearly very upset with what happened in the assembly today. You see, today's proceedings in the house proved that, that this government has lost majority. You know the very well the strength, 105 Bharatiya Janata Party, Congress, JDS together, they are only 98. They try to drag on the issue and provoke us, but we acted with patience. Today, all the procedures and rules governing the confidence motion moved by the Chief Minister were thrown to winds. We are demanding voting on the no motion, but the Chief Minister is reluctant to take up the motion as he has confirmed himself that he has lost confidence okay. of the House and people. Even the Speaker failed to give a ruling on the Governor's direction on the confidence motion. We will continue to press our demand for voting on the motion as a part of it. We will state night-long dharana in night the House. Well, Maya Sharma joining us live from the Assembly uh, at this hour. Maya, uh, the, the other big takeaway tonight is, is uh, the, the reports that the governor is now preparing a report to send to the centre. Uh, that, of course, could open up a whole new front. Oh, indeed. In fact, already the very fact that he sent that note after the BJP delegation met him, saying that the speaker should consider having the vote tonight itself, that was met with a lot of resistance from the Congress within the Assembly, H.K. Patel of the Congress, getting up and saying the governor has no right to interfere with the workings of the House. And the Speaker, even though, of course, he was backed by the Supreme Court yesterday in terms of being allowed to decide on the resignations or disqualifications at his own pace, it did go on to say that the MLAs could decide whether to attend Assembly or not, meaning that the whip may not have as much impact as it would earlier. And Siddharamaya of the CLP, also not happy with this, also another president. But as the MLAs, the BJP MLAs, stay the night inside there, behind that door, that is where they are, uh, it's, they're clearly protesting. They're feeling that what has happened today was deliberate delays on the part of the coalition. The coalition was certainly in no hurry. That was clear from the start. They began the debate soon after 11, but they spoke about the whip issue. They spoke about the status of the rebel MLAs, saying that that should be decided first before the vote actually was taken, whether they're disqualified or resigned. They also spoke about the disappearance of one of those MLAs, Srimanth Patil, from the resort where the Congress MLAs were being kept. Suddenly he appeared in Mumbai, citing ill health, sending pictures of himself being sick. The Speaker very unhappy with that, saying it's all unnatural to me, and telling the Home Minister to send a report to him by tomorrow 
on the situation of Patil after right. speaking to his family members. So it all happened here today in the Karnataka Assembly. Right, well, someone should make a movie on this. Uh, Maya Sharma, thanks a lot for that update. Don't envy you. It's going to be a long night ahead and probably a long day tomorrow as well. Thanks very much. Well, joining us here in the studio tonight, Tessin Punawala is back with us, political analyst and supporter of the Congress Party, Vivek Reddy, back with us tonight from Bangalore, uh, Sagrika Ghosh. Consulting editor of the Times of India is here with us. Shantanu Gupta, who supports the BJP, is with us this evening. Uh, and Mr. Amrind Sharan, senior advocate of the Supreme Court, joining us, as well as Nasir Hussain, leader of the JDS. Well, Mr. Sharan, I'd like to start with you first. Can the governor order the speaker to have the trust vote, as the governor has did send a note earlier today saying that the speaker should consider it? But is that what the governor is supposed to do? Is the governor allowed to do that? Governor has no power to direct him to do it, but governor is within his powers under Article 175.2 to send a message to the assembly. Governor is a part of the assembly and he has the right to send a message. He has sent a message and now within the house the proceedings are to be conducted by the speaker. They have their own constitutional functions and they must act in accordance with the limitations of their power. But Mr. Sharan, now this possibility, you know, uh, of uh, the murmurs of Article 356, that's uh, President's rule being imposed in Karnataka, the governor sending a report uh, to the centre. Uh, now, again, uh, you have a Supreme Court ruling in the cases of both Arunachal and Uttarakhand earlier where state governments were dismissed. The Supreme Court overturned those and said that the confidence of the House can only be tested on the floor of the House. So... If this were to happen, if such a drastic step were to be taken, would this be in complete violation of the Supreme Court's ruling? Of course it will be. And I do not visualize such a decision being taken uh, in the night. I think the government will be well advised to wait for another day. After all, uh, the voting is to take place tomorrow. And tomorrow it will be decided which party has the majority, which doesn't have the majority. We don't know if it's tomorrow actually, Mr. Sharon. We don't. There's, 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 no, there's no time fixed for the vote. It's a debate. So after the conclusion of the debate, there will be vote. He has, he has sought confidence in himself. After the uh, debate is over, there has to be a vote. Okay, well, uh, Tessin Poonawala... So whether the House has confidence in him or not? The question here is that is Mr. Kumar Swami delaying the inevitable? And if he does not have the, the confidence of House, he, he has to resign. There is no other way. I agree. I agree. I agree with what Mr. Sharan says completely, <coughs> about, especially about 175.2. The Governor can at max send a message to the House, nothing more than that, but the larger but point. But is Mr. Kumar I Swami running away from a no, trust? I have because gone, he knows he doesn't have the numbers. No, I have gone to seek my confidence. They haven't come to me to tell me that I don't have the numbers. I am absolutely confident I have the numbers. I want to prove I have the numbers. The other ones who have run away to Mumbai and the other ones who have run away to the Supreme Court. The only, the judgment of the Supreme Court and the way of our constitution is the only way you can check if I have my numbers or not is the floor of the house. Now, I have come to seek my vote. Where is the problem? The problem is this, that the speaker has not decided on the, on the disqualification or the resignation. Neither has the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has given an interim order. Why is the Supreme Court not given a full order? So now I am asking, I am, I am asking that let the Supreme Court give a full order. You take, check my strength then, whichever way the Supreme Court wants to go. The Supreme Court has kept the matter hanging. I didn't go to the Supreme Court. The 15 MLAs went to the Supreme Court. Let the Supreme Court decide the matter. Now what is the hurry? Tamil Nadu, 11 MLAs are pending. But there, the question rises, the Tamil Nadu government is seen to be in favor of Narendra Modi ji. Neither has the Supreme Court said for over a year on those 11 uh, MLAs because the government will fall, including the Deputy Chief Minister. Now, is this quest constitutional question be asked? Are you raising a question mark on the Supreme Court? I am raising a question mark on two things and very categorically with due respect to the Honorable Supreme Court. If I am the Speaker, I run my house. No court of law can interfere in my house. Neither in the Parliament, neither in an Assembly. That is the way of the Constitution. And number two, the whip is absolutely effective. I disagree with what Maya said in her opening remarks, simply because the petitioners in this case was those 15 MLAs and the Speaker. The Congress was never a petitioner in this. The whip is mine on the floor of the House. What the court said is I cannot pull somebody from outside the hotel, that, that seven-star hotel that they are staying in. I agree. But the floor is mine. The whip of the House is on the floor. The court can't intervene there. So my whip is effective on the court. I am not a party to the petition. Why but your MLAs are not there. They are not my, they've gone to court. The court has not given a decision on them. Sure. I am not a party to the petition. So my whip is absolutely effective. 
My whip, has, the court, has the court struck down the 10th schedule of the constitution or has it struck down the anti-defection law? It hasn't. So the, as far as I am concerned, I am talking as if I am Congress, my MLAs are with me. My whip I want to ask Mr. Sharon to clarify that before I take this to Mr. Reddy. That Mr. Sharon, because many legal experts say that in effect what the Supreme Court did was to actually undermine the anti-defection law. By saying that the MLAs don't have to be in the house, then the party whip actually is rendered meaningless, which means they can't be disqualified. And uh, you know th that therefore makes it that much harder for the for the current government. This is an interim order of the court. Correct. This is an interim of the order of the court. If somebody feels that this order is wrong, then the remedy is to approach the court and tell the court that you pass the correct order. You can't sit over the order of the court. Court has passed an order. According to you, that order is wrong. Then you go back to the court. All right. Well, Vivek Reddy, and the question... And tell the court why it is wrong and why you should pass a different order. The question that Mr. Kumaraswamy has posed today, Vivek Reddy, is that Mr. Yadurapa seems to be in a hurry to have this trust vote to bring the government down. He didn't say that because he says his government is going to survive. Uh, but, uh, you know, why not have a proper debate uh, and, and then have the trust vote? You, you can wait a few days or no? Well, uh, Nidhi, if you look at the, how this uh, controversy has panned out, all along after the resignations, relentlessly the speaker is taking time, he's dodging decisions and he's ensuring that the sitting government <coughs> buys time. And if it has lost the majority on the floor of the house, I think it should quit. And the only way that has to be effectively decided, the point of decision is when such a vote of, uh, vote of majority is taken <coughs> on the floor of the house. Now Nidhi, the complications are these. The point is for the resignations to take effect, the resigned MLAs had to move the Supreme Court <coughs> because Speaker was not taking a decision. He knew the government would fall. Next, for the next stage when the vote of mo motion of no confidence was put in place, again they are trying to delay. Why are these delaying tactics? It is not because of the Supreme Court judgment. Nobody as of date, as Mr. Sharan said, nobody as of date is aggrieved by the Supreme Court. Nobody has approached the Supreme Court to review it. But the point is they want to create a constitutional crisis. The larger question is Nidhi. Two rejected parties, which had 78 and 37, they came together and formed the government. But the mandate of the people of Karnataka was that they were rejected. Now today, they don't even have the numbers. All of these days, they said, look here, we have the numbers. But Mr. Reddy, can I ask you this? Therefore, we have a right what, to form this government. What, what, one, one second. Today, but, just one numbers. question, Mr. Reddy. If you, if you that, come to that argument. Do, would you, however, say that this is something yes. that should be decided on the floor of the house and not with any uh, kind of... Uh, uh, something like central rule being uh, imposed in the middle of the night or whenever? No, not at all. I don't think, I don't think the center will ever involve itself or will ever interfere or uh, try to, you know, come in between a floor test with a central rule. I don't think the center is ever interested in that. The center wants to follow the rule of law. It is the floor test that is decisive. But the problem is the governor may take into account the delaying tactics by the ruling coalition to avoid the uh, avoid the okay. you know the quick, quick response from Telsi before I come to Mr. Reddy. avoid the ultimate fate that they quick, have to face. Two very quick responses, Mr. Reddy. I wish you start watching NDTV Moan's talk and get out of WhatsApp because the speaker, the so-called speaker of Arunachal Pradesh, had a had a session of the assembly in a five-star hotel banquet room. Check your uh, check NDTV for these facts, and this is true. And it was shocking. I don't know why BJP loves five star hotel, but the second point, your point, if I accept your point of the delay. I don't know why, why Karnataka it, requires that. Of course, of course you don't know it. You will not Karnataka know about five star hotel. Karnataka doesn't require that. But my second point, may I make my second point? Why, why does Karnataka you, require sir, that? Please may I make but my second point? I didn't Karnataka interrupt you. So this is not the North speaker. Korean channel. May I inter make my second point? Thank you, sir. The second point that I want to make is simply this, sir. That why in the case of Tamil Nadu, where you have 11 MLA spending, including a deputy chief minister, this application does not go to the Honorable Supreme Court. Please decide this. It's been more than a year. Why? Because there the government will fall. Kindly answer this in only the Tamil Nadu. Uh, related to Tamil Nadu. Prove your majority on the floor. Don't raise technical issues. <laughs> but prove your not? majority if you have it. But don't Hence stop running the government without the majority. That's their point. You cannot. They have a session in the five-star hotel, uh, in a five-star hotel banquet room. They are allowed to do it. Majority. And in my case, the without court will tell me how to run my assembly. Why, why don't you take the floor test? Okay, one second. Mr. Hussain, why On isn't Mr. Kumar Swami going the ahead test. with the floor test? And he, then raise technicalities. He initiated the debate. He asked, he moved the motion for the trust vote. 
but then why not have the vote? Can you at least tell us whether it will happen tomorrow? Firstly, I would like to tell my BJP friend that the people of Karnataka have rejected Bharatiya Janata Party and they do not have the strength in Karnataka. They have got only 105, which is less than the majority. Now, the Bharatiya Janata Party is directly getting involved in horse trading to see to, and uh, other uh, means to see to it that they come back to power by unconstitutional means. And here in Karnataka, the situation is a uh, constitutional crisis on the basis of the uh, acts of the Bharatiya Janata Party legislatures. The Honorable Supreme Court has given a judgment in which uh, the uh, CLP leader's powers have been infringed. This is the point of order which the Honorable Sidramaya ji has raised, point one. And uh, the judgment over the resignations of the uh, 15 MLAs of the TDS and Congress coalition, I think even on that, the Honorable Supreme Court has put a stay, status quo that the decision should not be made prior um, judgment of the Supreme Court. Here a situation is created where the Honorable members of the Bharatiya Janata Party have approached the governor and uh, they have come up with a uh, ruling that the, the decision should be made on this day. Honorable Speaker has taken a call. I think this is a constitutional crisis with the constitutional experts will take. But one thing is for clear, even the MLA who has been absconding today, Mr. Srimant Patil, he was escorted by the Bharatiya Janata Party leaders from uh, Bangalore to but uh, Chennai, Chennai to Mumbai. But the Mr. Hussain, you're not, you're not, uh, you're not uh, actually uh, committing to a timeline uh, on when this uh, trust, uh, 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 when the vote will actually happen. You're, uh, I mean, uh, this, uh, deba uh, this uh, debate uh, can uh, technically uh, go uh, on uh, for uh, the uh, next uh, six uh, days. Uh, this debate can go it, it on. Is Mr. It, it, it is Mr. Kumar Swami who has, who has sought for the vote of confidence. And is that right? And, and until now, it is to be the legal battle, legal hurdles. It is to be cleared until now, until and unless these people, the 15 MLAs who have accepted their resignations, they are MLAs. I think the decision has not yet been made. They are MLAs elected from the Congress and the secular. And they are bound by the whip. Issued by the political parties. Okay, okay. This but is very much clear. This has you to know, be clear. Until and unless this is clear, I think this is. Uh, Mr. Reddy, one second. I just want to get a quick clarification from Mr. Sharan before I come to Sagrika. One second, one second. Mr. Sharan, is, is, does this actually mean that we could see a, a trust vote debate that can go on for several days? I mean, technically it can, right? There's nothing that, that binds the speaker to have yeah. the trust vote, uh, you know, at tomorrow at 4 or Monday at 4 or whatever. No, uh, nothing binds him. The uh, trust vote has to be debated. Yeah. So the timeline has to be fixed by the speaker and by nobody else. Uh, if the uh, trust vote debate is going on, it will go on. How, how long it can go on? Are, sir, how anything is possible in Indian so politics. After the end of the trust vote, voting has to take place. Yeah, now, now the thing is, Sagrika, I Maybe mean, I just want to bring, these, I just want to bring these pictures up. Vivek, just, just give me a second, endlessly. Vivek Reddy. Give me a second. We, we, we have these pictures of one of the BJP yes, MLAs yes, going into the assembly with a pillow just now because they're going to spend the night there. I know. I mean, what do you say? You know, Indian politics never ceases to, uh, you know, amaze you. Point. But it is the theatre of the absurd, the isn't the it? Absurd. If we can bring those shots up, please. Yeah. It's the theatre of the absurd. It's a war of nerves. I think the constitutional balancing that the Supreme Court did in its interim order on Wednesday is to some extent responsible for this because on the one hand, the Supreme Court gave unfettered powers to the Speaker to manage the trust vote. On the other hand, said that the 15 rebel MLAs uh, cannot under any circumstances be compelled to participate in the proceedings. So it, it sort of did this balancing act. Now, had the Supreme Court said there will be a trust vote on Thursday and this trust vote will take place on the floor of the House on Thursday, then the matter would have been solved. But I think what, the, you know, it's looking as if it's going to come back to the Supreme Court. Uh, that the Congress is uh, buying time. Uh, it's a war of nerves. But, you know, the fact is, Nidhi, that at the end of the day, we also have to look at, you know, this completely unnatural alliance between JDS and Congress and the fact that Mr. Kumara Swami is the chief minister of a state with 37 MPs, uh, MLAs. He, he has no mandate. 
Mr. Kumaraswamy does not have the mandate to be chief minister, nor does the Congress have the mandate to be in power. And the Congress and the JDS have been wiped out of Karnataka. They've got one seat each. The BJP has stormed to power in Karnataka. So to the, the JDS member who was saying that the BJP yeah, is there is still rejected. a procedure that There's has a procedure, to be yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, you know, there have been six attempts to de uh, topple this government. Uh, 15 MLAs have rebelled. They don't want to be with this government. Now, seven of those 15 MLAs who have rebelled are Sidharamaya's men. And the argument yeah, is that Sidharamaya himself is trying to topple this government because he doesn't yes. want to be lumbered with the JDS. Yeah. And he's a, it's a losing proposition to be lumbered with the JDS. They are uh, yeah. die-hard foes. So at the, the day, at the end of the day, at yeah. the end of the day, you know, many have said that this is Sidharamaya's game plan to bring down this government. He does not want to be with a losing proposition like the JDS. He wants to but recoup his strength. But I just want to ask Shantanu, who's his just back with us. Back Sha okay. Sha Shantanu, just, for just, on this, you know, just on this question Absolutely. of... Of, of whether the BJP would want to, because there has been, you know, this these reports have also uh, come out of the BJP central leadership at least in the last week or so, that the centre isn't so keen to topple a government and come to power in Karnataka. Mr. Yadhyurappa may be keen, but the centre is being more cautious. Is that the sense you're getting or do you just sense that uh, the BJP under Amit Shah and Mr. Modi, you know, it really it isn't really going to care for, for sort of these kind of rules or, or conduct? I think to my mind, uh, and last year when the election happened in Karnataka, BJP tried to make, make, make the government. But since then, they have not done, people say, Operation Lotus, but we, we have not seen anything obvious. Yeah. As Sagarika was telling, it is more of a oh. fight between Siddharamaya and, HD, and, and Kumaraswamy rather than, rather than between BJP and the coalition. And the mandate is not with someone who got 37 seat or 78 seat. Mandate was clearly with BJP. Yeah, everyone knows they got short of 7, 8 seats. But in Lok Sabha also we have seen. They, they, they came with a thumping majority. But now I think this is new kind of constitutional problem where speaker will keep on trying. Uh, earlier he said, I'm old, I can't uh, uh, read through all the resignation. Then resignation versus <laughs> disqualification. And now this endless debate. So uh, let's see, I think maybe he will keep doing for a couple of days and then he had to do the trust vote. So I think this is kind of new new precedence. It will travel to Supreme Court in the next couple of days, I think, with some predicts. This is black comedy. The, it's black comedy. The, if the BJP, I hope those images come up with the BJP is done with their pyjama party inside the assembly <laughs> of the house because that's the only thing that this government centrally... Well, they have a right state, to protest. Yeah, they um, do. so they can have their pyjama party. They are not stopping them. Of course, they have a right to protest and in their pyjamas. But the point is a more serious point, ma'am. You made this point about this 15 MLEs. I agree with you. Let's say Siddharama is doing this. All I'm saying I'm is... I'm not saying he's doing no, it. I'm saying seven of the persons who are there in the 15 the MLAs are... Gee, ma'am. No, his close I am associates. saying all 15. I am just okay. saying if these MLAs are with the BJP, why don't... Ma'am, let me make my point. If they are with the BJP, why don't they on the floor of the house show their strength? Why did they run to the Supreme Court and run away to Mumbai? The floor... If anyway they would have voted against me, my government would have fallen. Point number one. Now let's come to the constitutional point that we are making. So they are the ones who are running away. I am seeking the trust vote. They want now to bring the government down. Exactly. Which, so which where way? will that happen? They want to stay with the JDS. They, the the Congress does not want to stay with the JDS. Yeah. The same point I'm and the other point the is the implosion of the, of the Congress at every level. Ma'am, you are making... Yeah, you are making the same point. I agree See they want to bring the government down. That can only happen on the floor of the house. Why did they run to Mumbai? Vivek Reddy wants to come in. Yes, Mr. Reddy. Yes, Mr. Reddy. Go ahead. Nidhi, yes, Nidhi, Nidhi, the point is very simple. There is a rebellion within a rebellion. The 15 MLAs have rebelled, right? But there is a rebellion within that because Sidramaya is instigating some of his supporters to get out of the government. They don't want it to continue. Now, this is the real genesis of the problem. Are, I am if this is the all problem, this, the Mr. Congress will have to manage it. Point. Today, the Congress is incapable of managing this. So it is manipulating the proceedings in the assembly. I agree with you all of simple, this, sir. If you have lost Give me a larger majority, question. Sir, Mr. Tesin, you are no right to continue for a moment. Sir, I why, agree. Why are you manipulating sir, I mean, the point to continue? You are repeating Isn't the point. Isn't that shameful? Okay, this is after all the will of the people I, okay, of Karnataka. Sir. I no, don't think we have a right. I agree. 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 I am supposed to be ashamed. You in your pyjama party are not supposed to be ashamed. But make me make a larger point. If all of what you are saying is true, why did you waste time going to the Supreme Court? You should have got me down on the floor of the house. Why did you not do it? You simply did not do it because you know and I know you don't have the number. Now point number two. I just want to make a reference here. One second. One second. Who is the Supreme Court? By the way, the governor. Guys. Who One second. The, the governor has written to the chief the minister, action. by the way, uh, has written to Mr. Kumaraswamy. I'm just going through this letter just now, uh, where he's basically said, 
uh, that uh, there is a serious doubt that has been cast on the confidence of the government led by you in the House, uh, that he's received letters from various persons indicating that the government has lost its majority and uh, uh, that I have received a letter from a few practicing advocates that since the ruling coalition government has lost its majority, suitable action in accordance with law needs to be taken. I have also received a memorandum from the BJP delegation saying that the government is unnecessarily dragging the issue of a vote of confidence. Okay, hang on. I just need to get Mr. Sharan to comment on this because Mr. Sharan, uh, the governor here seems to be wading into some very tricky waters. Uh, it is not for the governor, from my understanding, uh, to be telling the chief minister of a state that he or she has lost their majority based on letters from various persons because ultimately the chief minister's majority can only be determined on the floor of the house. Is this letter problematic? Mr. Sharan? I am unable to hear. Let me just take that to Sagrika. Uh, uh, you know, ju the just speaker on this point. is the master of the house, no, right? Uh, just as the speaker is the master of the house in the Lok Sabha, the speaker is the master of the house in the, Rajas, uh, in the Vidhan Sabha. And, and the Supreme Court has made it very clear in its interim order yesterday that the speaker will decide on the conduct of the trust motion in the house. The speaker will conduct the vote of confidence. So it is entirely up to the speaker. Now for the governor to actually uh, try and intervene into the role of the speaker is highly unconstitutional. The governor has no locus stand by with the speaker. He is, not a, he is not mandated to take part in the proceedings of the legislature, of the, uh, the state legislature at all. And he so, also cannot uh, the advise local the government without the advice of the Council of yeah, Ministers. So, so we have Mr. Sharan back with us. Mr. Sharan, just to get your perspective legally on this, Mr. Sharan, the governor has written a letter uh, to the chief minister uh, saying that he's received letters from various persons indicating that the government has lost its majority, that he's received a letter from a few practicing advocates, that since the coalition has lost its majority, suitable action in accordance with law needs to be taken and that the government is unnecessarily dragging the issue of the vote of confidence. Is the governor right in writing this letter, Mr. Sharan? It is not for the governor to decide how a gov uh, whether a government is in a minority or a majority based on what some people may have said to him. At the end of the day, it has to be on the floor of the house, isn't it? That, that's right. That's right. I think the course open to the governor was to ask the chief minister to get a vote of confidence and have a voting done in the house. That's all. That's, that's all. He can't say mm -hmm. that uh, I have come and to know from him that you have lost the uh, majority or something. Not in the house. It has Suppose it's you have, he minister. comes yeah, to know no, ultimately that the, the says chief minister has lost the majority. He directs the chief minister to take a then vote he account. has to go to the house. Before one thirty, and he can direct the, the chief minister to go and take confidence happening. Exactly. But, can, but, but, but Mr. Sharan, one second, one second, guys, one second. Mr. Sharan, the, the governor has directed the speaker, I mean, to prove, uh, has the sorry, said that the chief minister has to prove his majority by 1.30 p.m. tomorrow. Can the governor do that? No. No, 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 no way. He's, he's already in the house, he's already seeking the majority, uh, vote of confidence, confidence, though the rule is that a uh, government must always command the majority in the house the moment it loses majority it has no right but to that continue has to be proven. the that governor has, proven. has asked him to but can the governor tell the chief to minister get, uh, to prove, prove his, majority his majority by a, by a particular time? time so that is when the house is going on the conduct of the house has to be with the speaker. Exactly. Not with the governor. Not at all. Okay, with Vivek Reddy, this is going to be. This Not is, with the governor. I'm Suppose the he goes court and says, again. I want a vote it's of confidence. Back, yeah, now it's coming back to the Supreme Court. Vivek Reddy. And, and the speaker says, No, I'll have voting at four. What can he do? Yes, Nidhi. Yeah. I think the speaker is playing a, 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 a cat and mouse game. And he's trying to pull this proceeding so that. They don't come to a definite uh, end. But Mr. And in Reddy, order to overcome that, we have no option. I think we'll have to move the Supreme how Court. Tomorrow the President of India and will tell Om Birla ji how to conduct to the Parliament. The President will direct Modi ji to come. Say. How can you do this? I mean the House is sovereign the at the basis of democracy, the sir. Previously, how can the Governor tell the Speaker by one thing? The Governor has not do it. 
Then what happens? There are all constitutional courts. I am going a step ahead. Let's assume the speaker tells the Supreme Court judge, come to my house. Who are you to tell me how to ask? Mr. Reddy, will you answer this point? I am asking you, forget even what Tessie is saying. Stop running away from the majority, Tessie. You have no right to talk. Mr. Sharan is pointing out. Stop running away from the majority. Mr. Sharan is also pointing out. It is not for the governor. It is yes. not for the governor to be directing the chief minister. When the house is on, it's for the speaker to make yes. this decision, not for the governor. Mr. Also, Sharan how can the governor know. write a letter and say no uh, that, no uh, that the government That's has lost its point. majority? How does he know? How it's not happened on the floor of the house. Exactly. No, 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 no way, Nidhi. Nidhi, last occasion when Mr. Yadurappa formed the government and it lasted three days, he had given a time limit of 15 days. And then the Congress went to, to the form uh, government. Uh, sir, went, have you read the, the Constitution? And said it must be done sir, in Sir, hours. we are on NDTV, not the Republic of Lies. That is, to form a con that is to form is, the government. That's the constitutional the position. Limit. The governor or the president gives majority. the government time to form it. a government. Don't bring NDTV. Sir. Do you have the majority? I have the majority. It will be proved on the floor of the house. You are running away by going to the Supreme Court and governor. Why are you running away? I have the numbers. You are the you one who is doing it. Of don't course, I am to prove it. You are running priorities. away. Why did you now run to the governor? You are forcing me to go to the Supreme Court. This does not want to be the majority. We have seen enough of this. Absolutely. This is not a good does not want to be a witness to the shame. The larger question to be asked is shame. No, no. The larger question to be asked in the BJP. One second, one second. Let me ask Shantanu that. That Shantanu, does the BJP want to be what the Congress used to be? which is to engineer defections, take people from other parties. The whole point is why, you know, you want to be different from what the Congress politics used to be Aren't at one time. The party with the difference. The party with the difference. And therefore, is this something, you know, that see, could backfire see. on the BJP see, in the Nidhi. long run? See, see Nidhi, Nidhi, this is not a defection. I think we all know a party with 37 seats and did not get the mandate to, to be, be at the CM's office. And we have seen in the Lok Sabha election what happened. So we all know where the mandate is. And we and everybody has spoken that it's a fight between Siddharamaya and H.D. Kumaraswamy. It's not a fight between BJP, BJP and the coalition right now. These MLAs are these are these MLAs are old time JDS Congress people. They are not newbies. These are not newbies. The MLAs which are resigning are old time old timers. They are old timers. BJP has supported Mr. Kumar Swami ji. You know, I just want to say they are the seasoned they are seasoned Congress MLAs and seasoned JDS MLAs. Mr. Hussain, they have a problem with the leadership. We have seen Kumar Swami coming out in open. I am wishing to get up here. मैं विश का घड़ा पी रहा हूँ। We have seen सिद्धरमैया, सिद्धरमैया saying कि government एक साल से ज़्यादा नहीं चल पाएगी। क्या 25 करोड़ डॉलर? Okay, quick last comments, quick last comments, Mr. Hussain, Mr. Hussain and then Sagrika, Mr. Hussain. Your, I think Bharatiya Janata Party has no moral right to question the integrity of and the popularity of Mr. Kumar Swami. Now they are consistently telling that they have less numbers. We have 37 number. Okay, agree. It is BJ Bharatiya Janata Party who had more numbers and they had made Kumar Swami ji the chief. Chief Minister for the first time. I think they have forgotten this. Now they are trying to tell, okay, the numbers is less, uh, Kumar Swami has less numbers and Congress has supported. Okay, this is the government of the coalition and it is the combined uh, government. Congress plus Janata Secular, we are having large numbers. Now, Bharatiya Janata Party, I would like to ask them, the entire Nataka which is going on, if the high command of the Bharatiya Janata Party does not know and they are not getting involved, is it that the Bharatiya Janata Party leadership is so weak? They have narrated the party of discipline. You call yourself Kishoreen. That is the reason why they are going. You always call the Bharatiya Janata Party. They don't want Kumar Swami because of the manner in which he treated them. Or leave it. If you leave it, and one thing that I can't do. This letter by the governor. I think this is really the theatre of the absurd. It is a black comedy. Uh, it is almost a farce actually. And I think the only way to get out of the situation is to have another election. Now, that is a difficult proposition because it would mean a third election for Karnataka. But I think the the reason why the situation has arisen is because of that unstable verdict that was given in 2018. Now you have a very unstable alliance, they don't want to stay together. On the other hand, you have a 
ambitious Mr. B.S. Yeduriappa, who is trying everything, every which way to bring this alliance down. Now, the question that I want to ask the BJP is why don't they want fresh elections? Why doesn't B.S. Yeduriappa want fresh elections? Because he's afraid that he may not be the chief ministerial phase. Because let's face it, there's no love lost between Mr. B.S. Yeduriappa and the central leadership of the BJP. Unlike in Goa, where the defecting MLAs came to Delhi and they got the blessing of Amit Shah and they met Mr. Nadda, the center, central leadership of the BJP does not seem to have too much to do with the Karnataka BJP. I think Mr. Yeduriappa is, not, is really not on very good terms with Mr. Amit Shah and Mr. Narendra Modi. It's Mr. Yeduriappa who is also heading into the Mark Darshak Mandal. He's, uh, you know, almost 75. I think he feels this is his last chance and he's doing everything he can to bring down this I unstable disagree. coalition. On the other hand, the coalition is highly unstable. Uh, Mr. The Congress and the JDS simply don't get on. I saw it on the ground. There's bad blood between the two of them. Mr. J uh, Kumara Swamy and Mr. Siddharamaya are foes. They're so deadly Sarita, rivals. What you're doing they is cannot, no, no, they Sarita, cannot Sarita, go get, a, get along. So I think the way respect, out, Sarita, the way Sarita, out is fresh polls. Sarita, start with a fresh uh, palette. Sarita, go to the point. people and get a what new verdict. What you're doing, you're doing, you're making the same mistake. You're committing their illegal. You're covering their illegal acts by saying, "Look, I am not getting along, so they are allowed to do something illegal." They say the person who is Ramalinga Reddy. One point. Ramalinga Reddy was a rebel. He is back in the Congress. He, yeah, he's now back in the MLA. He's, he's a former Home Minister. Ma'am, ma ma may make another point. Ma'am, may make another point. He's a veteran seven-time MLA. Ma'am, may make another point. Ma'am, may make another point. You are covering their illegality by saying I'm not getting along. Ma'am, Yadurappa ji is saying Amit Shah ji and Modi ji will take Mandia. care of Supreme you Court judges. I lost everything. How can you tell me I'll take care of Supreme Court judges? What is this? How can you say I'll 25 years? You are justifying illegality. The arithmetic of the alliance does not work. 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 The arithmetic of
last instance, in the 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 Who is running Karnataka? Are who is running Karnataka at this time? Aapne jaran. Look at this. This is a circus. They're going in with their pajamas and their pillows, and someone is on a hospital bed. Someone's on a private jet. I mean, come on. Look at the most BJP has done. I mean, no, none of the political leaders are covering themselves with any kind of glory. They, in fact, just confirming, reaffirming public perception about politicians that they are not people to be trusted. At the end of the day, isn't that what it, what it is? And the poor I mean, you voter. get voted. You know, people get voted on a symbol, right? I, they're supposed to represent a particular party, mm -hmm. and then they they cross symbol over. No, they cross over. I mean, that's a betrayal and of the vote. So yeah, can I ask this, Mr. Sharan? What you need is a fresh election. And there is a fresh an election. Law no, and
and tell the Supreme Court why this order is not correct yes. and why this order needs to be changed. Sir, actually what yes. I said and was... And then they will decide. Sir, actually what I said was very if, clearly if, that this is an interim just, order. Just, I never said that this is I, a final order. May I make my point, sir? That all the parties involved in this case sir, have there are not only covered two parties involved. glory. So far as this anti-defection act is concerned, they seem stop running away from the protest. You are the one who's running to the governor and to Mumbai. I am daring you get the 15 people to Mumbai and come in that private charter that you send them in. You are the one who's running away. You are the one who's having a pajama party. I am telling you, I want to prove my majority. You are the one who's running away. Why are you running away? You everywhere you go, you spread kitchen only so that the camel, we are the camel blooms. That's Please all you do. Numbers. You've ruined every state. Please now you want to ruin the great state of Karnataka. Right Your chief minister was in jail. Your chief minister was in jail. Okay, okay, okay. okay. All right, right, everybody breathing you know, exercises right now for... Uh, please, compulsory you breathing no, exercises for all. Maya Sharma is joining us again live from the assembly. And uh, Maya, you have been privy to uh, the night suits that uh, you know the MLAs are coming in with, among other things. Uh, but on a serious <laughs> note... They, this is a whole new dimension, the governor's letter. Uh, anything at all you're hearing from the Kumaraswamy side on how they plan to deal with this? Well, there are reports, in fact, that the coalition government will approach the Supreme Court, will talk to the court saying that there is no possibility of such jurisdiction of the governor over the assembly, over the speaker of the assembly. I also spoke to some BJP leaders who are here right now, not yet in their night suits legal minds, not just BJP leaders, but legal minds as well, who say that the government is obliged to actually carry out that trust vote. But if they do defy this, if they decide not to, then there is a possibility of the assembly being put in suspended animation. But it also really depends on what the Supreme Court has to say on this issue. Does the governor have jurisdiction over the speaker? There was already discomfort over the issue of the governor saying that the speaker should consider it, the Congress leaders in the house saying that this was unfair that there were observers from the governor in the house they were welcome but that the governor should not interfere in the workings of the house but requiring the chief minister to prove his majority on the floor of the house would be considered by the congress to be that same interference so maya you're Already confirming the that they will go to the MLAs supreme court you're saying that they will go to the supreme court tomorrow that is what on this that the bjp has said this, the BJP leader has said, in fact, that the coalition has approached the Supreme Court. This is not directly from coalition leaders. We've not been able to reach them yet. But the BJP leader did say, in fact, that the coalition has approached the Supreme Court. And it depends on what the court has to say in the morning. If they admit this, then, of course, that's something else. If it's dismissed or not admitted, then Kumaraswamy will be obliged to really prove his majority on the floor of the House or else face what he says could be uh, putting the assembly in a suspended animation. But it's all really up there now in the legal world, even as the BJP MLAs here are settling down for the night. Yeah, so what is going the on there? Can you, I mean, it's fascinating now. I mean, what is going on behind you? What are they doing? Are they singing songs? Are they chatting? Slumber party? What's going on? Well, they are actually in that door behind. You can see them moving there where we are not actually allowed. No cameras are actually allowed inside. The images that are emerging are of them sitting on the lounge. Inside is the assembly hall, the assembly which you see. But to each side of the assembly are some lounges with some very comfortable sofas. And we've seen pictures <laughs> of them sitting on that sofa. Those blankets have gone in. Mr. Yediyorapa did tell us that early in the morning, they would be heading off to the legislator's home next door for a wash to freshen up. So I, I think that also covers the option of perhaps some of them leaving the assembly. And I may have a feeling that once all of these cameras, once all of us leave, I'm not sure, but maybe some of them would do that too. But right now we're here with our cameras rolling and there are certainly MLAs there behind me in their pajamas, with their blankets, in the lounges of the Karnataka Assembly. Never a dull day in Indian politics. Thank you, Maya. Uh, we, will, uh, have, you have, we, have, we will be coming back to you much more on this. Quick last word from our commentators because the polls will definitely get into a fight. What a farce. This whole completely, thing. Completely. I mean, we're going and back to the Supreme Court. No, no. And you know, uh, Nidhi, look, at the end of the day, this government is an ICU, mm. right? I mean, it's not going, whatever they do, how long can they extend their life? One day, two days, three days, four days, not longer than that. So, I mean, actually, they seem, I'm sorry, the honorable thing to do would be to have that trust vote tomorrow and end this end fast. End it, go back to end the it. people. End it because, and go back to the people. Go Absolutely. Back to the people. And I think even the BJP should not try to form an alternative yeah. government. 
everybody should agree that there should be fresh elections in Karnataka. Vivek Reddy, do you and, agree? And, and, Vivek Reddy, do you the think there should be Karnataka fresh elections? Is that the want? best way out? Do you think so? Well, I think well, I think there are two issues here. The, it is for the High Command to take a decision whether the people of Karnataka need to be forced with a fresh election, fresh election, or whether it is better way out to take a fresh election. I think these two things are very weighty decisions. The, the BJP High Command will have to take Nidhi. But for now, the Congress should not run away. The uh, the trust vote. It shouldn't be like cowards fleeing before the rebellion. Go and face it, and take your numbers. Understand what your numbers are. And then decide the fate of the government. May I answer? All right, quick. Mr. Reddy, I would love to face you, except that you've taken away my people and you're putting them in five star resorts while you are in pajamas having pillow fights in the assembly. So, the end of the day, let me answer one thing to you, RTG. The fact is, they, 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 they are bullies. And this because is the Sudamaya. argument that the bully will bully you. And when you stand up to the bully, everybody says, look, the honorable thing is to back off. No, they are bullies, and somebody needs to be taught that they cannot keep, keep trampling upon the constitution and running away. They are the ones who are running away from a floor test. I am ready for it. But I've sought the, I've sought the proof. Of the house. And on that happy note, thank you very much to all of you for joining us tonight on that developing story. So many things that just cropped up in the middle of that show. And uh, of course, it uh, uh, is going, it's obvious that tomorrow is going to be a fun day. Thank you very much.